Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm John Sen. I'm an associate AD for communications here. Uh, good to see so many faces in the crowd today for a, an exciting event. I'm just going to go over the format real quick because I'm not the person anyone in here wants to hear from. Uh, we'll have Dr. Martin come up, say a few words. Uh, Director of Athletics, Ken Cavanaugh, and then our new men's basketball coach, Pat Chambers. Uh, for media, our format today, we're not going to do questions at the podium. I'm going to let everybody speak, and then we'll do breakout sessions afterwards. So uh, thank you all again for coming here. And I'm sorry, Ken Cavanaugh. First of all, welcome and thanks for coming. We've had a, a hectic week and we've been working around travel. Uh, Philadelphia weather hasn't been as cooperative we would, would like, um, but we're more than excited uh, to have today as an introduction. Uh, we're glad that uh, we already started the process yesterday and we've had a, a lot of good times over the last 24 hours. Um, this is an exciting time of the year for us. Uh, it's uh, the postseason. Uh, we're really excited and proud of our men's team. Uh, they've had a fine season. We're looking forward to tomorrow night's game against Detroit Mercy in the first round of the Basketball Classic. Uh, so I want to congratulate and thank the guys for all their efforts this year. We look forward to hopefully watching you guys play five more times this season uh, as we start tomorrow night. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, an individual and a group that continues to have phenomenal national success. Uh, our women's basketball team uh, not only continues to reign threes and they continue to reign along the A-Sun dominance, uh, uh, but we're now ready for our, our most recent NCAA championship run. And uh, we're going to start in Maryland uh, come this week against Virginia Tech on Friday. And uh, who I still consider the best coach in the country with his outstanding staff, all of them former Eagles themselves with postseason experience. I'd like to recognize Coach Carl Semesco and the, the ladies back there. I'd also be remiss if I did not take this time to uh, thank our coaching staff this year, but in particular, uh, Coach Fly uh, and Heather. And uh, for anybody who's in this room and has a spouse in this business, uh, we know how much uh, that is a big piece of who we are and what we do. Uh, Michael Fly has been an invaluable member, teammate, and friend to so many of us over the last 11 years. The last four years, he put in everything he could to continue to uh, move this program forward, and in many instances, he did. Uh, we look at off-the-court successes. We had never had a cumulative 3.0 grade point average until uh, the last four years. So the gentlemen in front of me are doing it in the classroom without uh, understanding uh, what they maybe in some ways have set a benchmark for future teams. Um, certainly, we've worked hard, and we've had some good successes. Uh, we had some good successes this year, um, and I want to thank, and again, as we move forward over the course of the next week. Um, nobody, in my opinion, uh, bleeds more green and blue than Michael Fly. So we wish Michael and Heather, as they wait the arrival of their second child to join uh, big brother Jack, um, all the best as we go forward. And uh, for that, um, I'm very appreciative of. I'd also, family-wise, uh, I'd like to acknowledge my wife, Mary. Uh, the last week or so, I've been a little preoccupied. I've been hours a little different. Um, and again, uh, we're, we're blessed in our department uh, to have so many great family members, both within our, our core, within the department, uh, people working together, a lot of them here uh, to show support. Um, and it also extends across campus. And in the course of this process, this week and short notice, we've asked a lot of people to help us out. Uh, people in HR, people in legal counsel, people in Precious Gunner's area for uh, equity and inclusion. Uh, and they've all done things on a short notice so that we can move things around. So we do not in any way uh, not appreciate that. We know that we are the front porch in many ways for the uh, university, but in many ways we could not get things done without so many people behind the scenes all around campus and certainly our donor base off helping us. So thank you very much in that regard. And uh, lastly, uh, I want to thank some folks who really were in the trenches with me this week, uh, who uh, Coach Chambers was able to get a, know a little bit about FGCU uh, through their efforts. In particular, I want to thank uh, Dr. Uh, Tom Roberts, our tremendous faculty athletic rep. I want to thank Dr. Chris Blakely, who is our Dean of Students and is the Chair of our Intercollegiate Athletic Committee, Diversity and Inclusion Committee. And I want to thank Jeremy Borland. Is Jeremy here? Yep, there's Jeremy right there. Jeremy's our assistant AD, uh, does a wonderful job in a lot of other areas, uh, but stepped into this role uh, as a, our chief diversity officer that the NCAA added a new position last year. And Jeremy's been great in working with myself in this process and as a conduit with our team. And I also wanted to thank Graham Deemer. Uh, Graham's here. He's, he's been working through uh, some, uh, he's supposed to be on leave, uh, but he, his phone's been working. So uh, Graham, appreciate everything you've done. 
Uh, and lastly, and certainly not least, um, are the Martin family. We were uh, visited uh, uh, Jan and Mike the other day to uh, have a chance to uh, finally meet Coach Chambers in person uh, to culminate uh, the process, and, and it was a whirlwind process. But uh, the leadership that I've been 13 years afforded, first with Dr. Bradshaw, gave me this wonderful opportunity to come to FGCU the first eight years, and then the last five with, uh, with Dr. Martin. He's someone with incredible experience, but more important, he has a vision and he has a leadership style that we've really needed over the last five years as we've gone through the issues of Irma and then the pandemic and so forth. And, and this is just another example of why uh, we're hoping he's going to tell us he's going to take a five more year contract and not retire. <laughs> So with that, it, uh, it's my pleasure to bring Dr. Martin up for a few comments. Thank you. Well, thank you, Ken. I, I'd sign on, but I promised myself I wasn't going to wear a necktie anymore, and uh, I'd have to do five more years. Well, first of all, thank you all for coming. And uh, for the three people that Ken didn't thank, thank you personally for me. So th thanks very much. It's a special day, as always. As Ken suggested, and I tell people all the time, we connect to this community in many ways, but there are three major programs that link this institution to the larger community. Certainly athletics is at the top of that list. The other is WGCU, and the other is music and performing arts. And that has connected us and made this community feel as though they're part of the university to the point that they actually are stakeholders and stockholders. And so therefore, being committed to excellence in all we do, particularly in the case of, uh, in this particular case, intercollegiate athletics is central to who we are. I hear frequently the line uh, around campus, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that doesn't apply at a great university. If it ain't broke, make it better. That's what we do here. We're committed to excellence. And as Ken suggested, Mike Fly and the crew, our wonderful representatives this institution gave us four good years of really strong competition, but we move to the next level of commitment to excellence, and that's what we're doing today. So uh, that's the mantra of FGCU, it will remain such, and that's how we've come this far in 25 years. Uh, not just uh, in academics and building a great campus, but with a truly outstanding program here in the athletic department. And I'm proud of every one of the coaches. Carl, I joined. Uh, Ken, congratulating you, but this program is fundamental uh, to who we are. We are student athletes, not athlete students here, and that's important. The teams comport themselves with dignity and competition everywhere they go, in the classroom, on the campus, in the community, and that's what we're committed to, and that's part of that commitment again today. I had a chance to spend a little time uh, with a new coach, and I'm convinced that we are in exactly the right place to continue to be the great university we are becoming. So thank you all very much. Ken, I'll turn it back to you. Go Eagles. When this process started a little over a week ago, um, I was asked, you know, how long would it take? And no, there's no exact science to it, and certainly in recruiting and hiring. And, in the stock market, there's no exact science unless you have inside information, you're ready to go to jail. But uh, for us, it really was about judicious urgency. Uh, we know that it's important to the student athletes on the team right now to where is their future going to be and who's going to be their leader, uh, amongst other key pieces uh, for why uh, the position needed to be filled as soon as possible. Uh, there was phenomenal interest in our position. You know, my, as others would say, your, your phone blowing up. Uh, and it was from individuals who were not only some of the highest uh, ranked uh, top assistants, mid-majors across the country, uh, but also head coaches. Uh, some of them who are still weren't even able to, whether they through intermediaries, wanted to talk to me because they're involved with the NCAA. And, and as ethics would have, I would not call someone and ask to speak to their coach while they were still in season, and they would wait until afterwards. Um, but as we started to work through the early part, my main responsibility uh, was to find the best FGCU fit. And if that was going to take until April 1st or whatever, then that would have been the case. Uh, but as we got further into the discussions and I started to crystallize, starting to narrow the field, um, I had someone reach out to me and ask who I value their, um, their thoughts and said, wow, you, you really have a great pool. And then the, the main piece that they then said was, you know, go out and get a great coach who's going to basically energize your fan base and your student athletes and who's going to fill those upper seats again. 
And then at that thought, I was like, you know, that is exactly really what we want to do. We want a quality person who's going to be a leader and a mentor for our student athletes, who's going to get con connected with all the other people that we need to on and off campus. Um, but we want to win, and we want to win in a way where we get back to seeing the crowds that we had. It's good for the energy. It's good for home court advantage. And quite frankly, it's good for our budget as we try to continue, as Dr. Martin said, make things bigger and better um, as we've been able to do over the last 20 to 25 years. So when that occurred, I was like, you know, I think I'm already there. I think I've had enough comments in a short period of time. I don't need to wait another week or two. I called Dr. Martin and said, I, I think we're down to one. I think we need to get, get this person vetted, work through it like we would if we had four or five candidates uh, and go from there. And that's how we approached earlier this week. And as the process kept going on, uh, it only became easier for us to understand uh, that we were already at a point that we needed to be. So with that, I was blessed. I had a comment from one of the individuals that was on Coach's reference list, and it's his uh, All-American, Lamar Stevens, who's now ironically playing with the Cleveland Cavaliers with our only NBA player, Brandon Goodwin. And uh, when I called Lamar, and Jeremy was with me on that call, um, the things that stood out easily to me was when he talked about, I came in as a role player, and I yes, I, I was able to be an All-American by the end of my career, but I got better each year, and Coach certainly made me a better player on the court. But more importantly, he made me a, made me a better man through my four years, and that's what we're looking for. Certainly, we want the student athletes want to get better, and we want them to get better, but we want them to grow as individuals and the mentorship that they get from all these outstanding coaches that are in this room and all 15 of our teams. That's what we're looking for as we look every day. So that just, like, it just, again, resonated. And other comments were coming from former parents and, and people that had worked. Jay Wright at, at Villanova is certainly someone who's a major influence, and I'm sure Coach will talk about him. So as we looked at it, high integrity, family man, knew the game, relates to his players, connects with donors, and a proven winner who's a great ambassador. Check, 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 check. That just got to this point that within reason, we had a meeting at the President's House the other day and we were done. And with that, it's my great pleasure to welcome Courtney and the rest of the family of Coach Pat Chambers, our brand new coach, for the coach of the house. Thank you so much, um, Ken, and thank you, Dr. Martin. Really appreciate the, and, and incredibly grateful for this opportunity. I know uh, Coach Carl has to uh, get going, so I want to say, Coach, uh, good luck. Congratulations on your championship, uh, all your successes over the last 20 years. Hopefully we can emulate that. Uh, and I'll definitely listen and sit with you and meet with you, and you can guide me in this process for me. Uh, and good luck at, on Friday against Virginia Tech. Um, but I'm, <laughs> Dr. Martin, Ken, um, again, uh, it started a, a little over a week ago, and it was a world when it was fast, it was furious. Um, and your committee was incredible. Your executive team, uh, I can see them out there right now. Um, what a great group that you have, first class organization. Um, and your passion and your commitment and your competitive spirit is what really had drawn my wife and I to hopefully, you know, getting this opportunity. And we're so incredibly grateful for that. Each conversation, each time we spoke, uh, I was more excited than the first time. And we, we kept talking about, kept talking about what a great fit this would be for our family. We lived here for a year, so we're very uh, acclimated with the area. And we're, we're so thrilled to, to come back and be a part of this, this great university. Um, I'm so thankful for the players. I know you guys are busy. And uh, for you to be here today to, means so much to me. So I really appreciate you guys for that. Um, the executive team, I, I'd be remiss if I don't just touch on you. I don't want to do too many thank yous, but I, I have to do this because it's my hopefully last chance to do this. Um, Jeremy, thank you, my friend, for all that you have done. Um, that committee, that meeting that we had late Friday, 
uh, was just incredible. And I could feel the love, the passion for this university when I was on that call. And uh, you really welcomed me on that call too. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, Trish, where, is Trish here? Sorry about all the cancellations if she's not, if somebody can get this to her. Sorry about all the cancellations and on the, all the rebookings in the last 72 hours. As Ken said, the, the weather up uh, north was not, not too pleasant, but we got it done. Um, so Graham, thank you, buddy. Mike Estes, thank, I appreciate your car. Uh, KP, John, Lauren, all your help over the last 72 to tw uh, 48 hours. Really appreciate you guys have really made us feel comfortable and have really, really welcomed us. Dr. Roberts, appreciate you. Appreciate the John Wooden remarks too. I really enjoyed our conversation and taking a deeper dive. I look forward to getting to, to know you a little bit more. And Dr. Blakeney, I really appreciated him being on that uh, committee and uh, all the questions. Again, I felt so warm, welcomed. Uh, I felt like this was gonna be a really easy transition for, for my family and I and our, our new staff. Um, I have to thank LaSalle. Uh, Brian Baptiste, I hope you're watching. Appreciate you. Ashley Howard, appreciate you. The staff and the players of LaSalle, I'm so grateful for you guys. So grateful. You welcomed me with open arms, and I'll never forget that. To my former players and staff, thank you so much for all the love and support. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys, and you've been so committed to me and so loyal to me, so thank you. Uh, my brothers and sisters are here with my sister-in-laws and my brother-in-law. Uh, my wife and my, my kids are here, Courtney and Grace and Brian, Katie girl, Patrick. I wish you guys could stand up here. You look so sharp. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you look so sharp. I'm really proud. Uh, what in 18 months. <laughs> Four moves in 18 months. Four moves. Talk about sacrifice and resilience. Talk about sacrifice and resilience. I love you so much. You're letting your daddy live his dream, and that means the world to me. So thank you. Thanks for coming along this crazy journey and this adventure. The last 18 months uh, have been uh, continuing to grow and educate and self-reflection. I'm confident that you, my, 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 my next team, my, my players, my future players, you'll be getting the best leader best teacher, and best coach, because I've learned a lot from my past. And I promise you that, and I'm confident. I'm confident in that. I was able to meet with the guys yesterday, and um, we talked about our map for success. We talked about what our program was gonna be built on. We talked about our pillars of excellence. And I, if it's okay with you guys, I'm just gonna share a little bit of the inside scoop uh, of who we are and who we're gonna be and where we're gonna go, because we wanna compete with championships. Um, the way the great players from the past players and the great coaches have done here in such a youthful university. So one is faith. We got to have great faith in, in the higher being up, up, upstairs there. We got to have faith in, in God. And then we have to have faith in me and my staff and my family because this is a community thing. And you and your families need to have faith that we're going to do what's best for you. And ultimately what's best for you is, is best for the team, is best for the collective unit. So we need to have faith in that, and, and of course faith in, in the administration that they, they're committed to us, and I believe in that partnership, and that's why I'm here today. Uh, we're gonna hold you accountable. We're all gonna be held account accountable to a higher standard. Uh, we're gonna be on time, we're gonna go to class, we're gonna be on time for trainers and, and strength and conditioning, and we're gonna sit up front, and we're gonna be ready to practice. Not get ready for practice, but be ready for practice. My staff and I will be the most prepared staff in the country and we will help you in player development, we will help you in life skills, we will help you off the court, whatever you need, we're gonna be there for you. Uh, you have to be passionate. Uh, I get up every day, this is my job, I get paid to do this, that's crazy. Because I love the game so much, but I love impacting players even more, I love developing leaders and, and men, and I think when you develop men, you find success. That's what all the great coaches have taught me. Uh, Ken mentioned Jay Wright, Jay Wright is my mentor. 
uh, and he's taught me so much. Uh, Ashley Howard, I have to bring him up. He taught me so much this year. I have great mentors, but you got to be passionate about what we do, and I know you guys will be. We will be. My family and I will be at games. We're going to be out there. We're going to be in communities, uh, out in the community. We'll be uh, there for you uh, if we need charity events, whatever we need to do. We're going to be out there and be a big part of this university. Um, humility. Look, we're blessed. We're blessed. We have to be, we're going to be humble, and we're going to be hungry. Uh, we're the men's basketball team. We're, we're going to partner with the women's team, but we're going to be out there, and the baseball team and all the great sports that are here, and we're going to be out there, and we're going to treat this with great respect. So humble and hungry as we walk across campus and engage with other students, engage with our donors and fans. Um, gratitude. In the last 18 months, it's a word that I, it's just, I, it's captured my soul. It's captured my heart. I wake up every day. I'm grateful for my wife, my children, my health. And I think we need to be grateful for the opportunity to be here at this university, the opportunity to get a great education, the opportunity to, to play basketball. What, what an, how are we not grateful for that? We cannot take that for granted. And I know that you won't. And I will not take this position for granted either. So we're going to be a big part of that. So gratitude is everything. And what holds all of this up? What holds it all up is attitude. Look, we all have choices. In, in life. We all have choices. It's either good mood or bad mood. It's either work hard or don't work hard. It's either show up or, or sleep in or go to the beach. <laughs> it, it's you, We have that choice. We're in control of that. And that's what I told the guys in the team meeting yesterday. I'm not in control of your attitude. You are. So it's either you're going to work hard, we're going to be in the weight room, we're, we're going to work hard in, on the court, we're going to get a little bit 1% better every single day. That's what it's got to be. Because if you don't have a great attitude and you don't have that approach, well, it's not, it's not going to work out for you. It, it, and trust me, in my experiences throughout my life, that's what it's been. So we're going to work hard. We're going to keep a great attitude. Oh, how about when we go on the road? Do you think the refs are going to be for us or against us? We don't know. What about the environments? What about sitting on a tarmac with a six-year-old for an hour and 15 minutes? Are you going to complain at, 12, at midnight? Are you going to complain at 12, 15, 12, 15 in the morning? No, we're going to keep a great attitude and say, hey, it's out of our control. What can we do? What can we do? And we're not going to say one, two, three, Eagles. We're not going to say one, two, three, defense. We're going to say one, two, three, attitude. If you had a turnover, a missed shot, a poor test grade, something happened, hey, man, we're going to work on this together. But we're going to keep a great attitude. So that's our foundation. That's who we're going to be. That's how we're going to drive this program and get it back to winning championships and competing for championships. As I close, um, I just want to mention Coach Fly and his staff. I know it hasn't been easy for you guys. I know it hasn't been easy for him and his staff. But let's come out tomorrow night. Let's come out tomorrow night and pack this arena and show support for these young men. Change isn't easy. Trust me. Nobody knows more <laughs> better than I do. Change is not easy. So let's come in here tomorrow night. Let's support these guys. Let's get one. We take one game at a time, but hopefully five. But one game at a time. And let, let's really support Coach Fly, his staff, and these players. I can't wait to get started. As, a, as a, uh, my new leader says, wings up, God bless, and go Eagles. Thank you. John, I turn it to you. Uh, how do you want to close? Thanks, everybody. Wings up. Coach. 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 Coach.